So I live here in Colorado and one of my favorite things to do is hike. And so what I want to do today is describe to you one of my favorite hikes and then relate that back to how we communicate better on stage when we're in front of people, or maybe we're not even on a stage, we're just in front of an audience or, or a small gathering. So many people come to me asking, how do I be more confident in those situations as a communicator, as a speaker? And so I want to describe to you Naylor Lake in two different ways. And then I'll relate this back to how we can be more confident in our, our presence on stage and, and with what we're saying. So the first way I would describe Naylor Lake it's a high alpine lake in Clear Creek County, Colorado. It takes about an hour and a half to get there from my house. Um, it's part of the Silver Dollar Trail system that takes you up to higher alpine lakes beyond Naylor Lake. And Naylor Lake sits at about 11,400 feet in elevation. So it's pretty up there, right? Okay, that's one way to describe Naylor Lake. Now here's another way. Naylor Lake is one of my absolute favorite hikes that I go on here in Colorado. And in fact, it's my family and I's favorite hike. The trail to get up to where you actually see Naylor Lake, where it's pretty high up, you're panting, you're wheezing, and the trail itself is filled with a lot of, of exposed rock and boulder and tree roots. So you're kind of, it's almost scrambling up this foresty, shaded, you're in the middle, the middle of the pine trees. You're, you're wondering like, is this all the hike is? This is all that, that we're doing. When is this lake gonna show up? And then kind of out of the, the clearing of the trees as you get to this, this line of trees where you go out into the open, you see this expansive rock field in front of you. And as you get to that point, you look down on Naylor Lake. The last time I was there, there was a bald eagle flying over Naylor Lake. And my dog is dreaming in the background in case you hear that. <laughs> there was a bald eagle flying over Naylor Lake as the water shimmered in the sunlight. And you're just looking out over this expanse. You're in the middle of this bowl of mountains all around you. There's rushing water coming down from somewhere across the way down into the lake that is surrounded by evergreens. And, and other trees. There's a little cabin down there where I dream of, of being able to rent those cabins and kayaking out on Naylor Lake. That's, one, that's the second way that I can tell you. And actually, I wanna show you a picture of Naylor Lake. So here are a couple pictures right here. Those two ways of describing Naylor Lake, which one was more meaningful? Which one was more impactful? Was it the first where I was just telling you the stats and the figures of Naylor Lake or was it my experience of Naylor Lake? Unscripted, just telling you how I felt during the hike, describing to you the visuals that I was seeing. That is how we can be more confident on stage. When we think of ourselves less as actors reciting lines and more as guides taking you through our lived experience. Because that's all we are as humans. We are the makeup of our, our lived experience. But so many of us treat our, our time on a stage or in front of an audience like a performance where we have lines that we have to recite to perfection or else we'll fail. But the thing about that is most of the time, no one else depends on us perfecting our lines. Unlike a play or a musical where the other actors are dependent on you getting your lines right, the audience may even know what your line is supposed to be if it's a popular enough play or musical. But if you're getting up there and speaking and telling a story and trying to, to offer your insight and wisdom through, again, your own lived experience, no one else's success or failure is dependent upon you saying word for word what you intend to say. If you can break yourself of that pressure to be an actor on stage, to perform and to recite your lines and instead be that guide walking you through how you've experienced the world or a scenario or a situation and say, what do you think? Has it ever felt like this to you? Well, here's what I've learned from it. Here's what I know to be true. Does that resonate with you? Then, if we happen to not say something perfectly, if we happen to 
I don't know, miss something that we wanted to say, A, no one knows. And B, as long as you're advancing the story forward and you're giving us your thoughts and opinions and, and again, lived experience, I know I keep repeating that, then there's no perfection to be had. There's no failure to be had in that either. And that is when you can go into a place of confidence where you relieve yourself of the pressure to perform and act and recite. And instead, and I know it gets used a lot, but we storytell, we guide, we, we take people by the hand and say, come here, I wanna show you this. I wanna show you Naylor Lake. That's how I would phrase it. I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments if it does.